Hey there. Today we're going to take a look at CodeShip Basic. CodeShip Basic is CodeShip's quick, easy to set up CI CD platform that makes testing and deploying your code simpler than it's ever been before. Now there are three key things to know about CodeShip Basic, and then we'll take a look at how it works. First, CodeShip Basic works out of the box. That means once your project is set up, we already have all of the languages and tools and services pre-installed, and we have the most popular deployment destinations configured with just a single click. Second, CodeShip Basic is quick and simple to set up. That means all you need to do is drop in setup commands and test commands via the web UI. You don't need to change or configure anything in your application itself, and you will be ready to go automating your testing and releasing strategy. And third, CodeShip Basic is optimized hosting and speed. That means we do all the hard work of keeping the CI CD environment fast and updated and efficient. You don't have to worry about all the overhead that comes with managing and configuring your CI CD environment, and it will scale with you if you need to add more projects and more pipelines. We make it very, very simple for your CodeShip projects to grow as you and your team grow. So that's CodeShip Basic, and let's jump in and take a look at how it works. What we see here is a new CodeShip Basic project, and if I want to configure it, I just go to Project Settings, and test settings. From here I would drop my setup commands in here and I would drop my test commands in here. Let's say I need to bundle install to set up my app and then down here I might simply put my rspec commands in. From there I would jump to my deployment tab and I would add a new deployment pipeline. So let's say I want to have a deployment on any branch that starts with master. I'm gonna click save and now I can choose any of these popular environments to deploy to. All I have to do is add my credentials. I could also very easily use a custom script deployment if none of these turnkey solutions is just right for me. Next, what I'm going to want to do is configure my environment variables, something like what we see here, and I can add as many as I need for my project to work on CodeShip. In the project settings, I will also be able to configure my notifications, including Slack and HipChat, as well as my own custom webhook notifiers, as well as manage everyone on my team that needs to use the application. And it's really that simple. Once you've added your setup and your test commands and configured your deployments, your project is ready to go. And every commit or pull request from that point on will build on CodeShip. And if we take a look over here at another CodeShip basic project, you can see what that looks like. I've got a bunch of builds, and at any point, I could jump into one and see everything that happened and the full log output for my builds. We also have Parallel CI, which will let you add separate test pipelines to speed your tests up. And we've got what we see here, the dependency cache. We will save your installed packages between builds so that you don't have to fetch them every single time. So that's CodeShip Basic. You can sign up for free today at CodeShip.com.